So in today's video, we're going to be talking about vitamin D. So vitamin D is synthesized from cholesterol. So first, this cholesterol needs to be converted into something called 7-dehydrocholesterol. And from here, vitamin D is eventually able to be produced. So vitamin D has quite a few functions within the human body. Uh, some of them are very important. So it's able to help with calcium absorption. This ensures that the bones of the body are healthy and the teeth as well. It's also responsible for immune system support. It has an anti-inflammatory function. It reduces the risk of colon cancer, reduces hypertension and improves heart health. This is just some of the many functions of vitamin D. So there are high concentrations of this 7 dehydrocholesterol in the stratum basale layer of the skin, and that's this region here. So like we've said, 7 dehydrocholesterol is what is used to make vitamin D. So with ultraviolet light from sunlight, for example, this 7-dehydrocholesterol is converted into pre-vitamin D3. This pre-vitamin D3 isomerizes into another form called vitamin D3. And then vitamin D3 is converted into the active form of vitamin D, which is known as calcitriol. And this process occurs in the liver. This diagram here shows you specifically the molecular structures of each molecule as it's going through the process. So we have cholesterol here, which is being converted into 7-dehydrocholesterol. And as a recap, there's high concentrations in this stratum basale layer here. Then this 7-dehydrocholesterol is converted into pre-vitamin D3. And then pre-vitamin D3 spontaneously forms vitamin D3, which is also known as polycalciferol and then finally this vitamin d3 is converted into the the active form of vitamin d which is known as calcitriol